Good morning, and welcome to another Sunday morning sketch. This is Eric Whalen from Super Secret Project X, and this morning, I actually got up early this morning, we're all done with our grocery shopping and stuff, so I'm a little off rhythm. Not used to actually being, you know, <laughs> at this point, at this point in the day. All right, uh, I'm going to do Kim Possible today. Um, I am not, however, going to... Uh, mimic the style. I'm going to try to get her close, but I feel like drawing her uh, how I would draw her. So there. Ha ha. There we go. All right. I'll check this out. I've only got a couple pages left. I've got a whole new, brand new sketchbook ready to go for the new ones. All right, but this will be good enough for now. Drawn. It's funny. One of my one of my goals for doing this was uh, quite simply uh, to draw my sketchbook again and fill this sucker up. And I was actually really surprised how quickly I got there, or at least it felt quick. All right. Besides, I I thought uh, Kim Possible and Paul Nara from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures would make a strange and handsome couple. Fairly certain I'm going to get some arguments over that, but oh well. There we go. general size and I'm going to zoom in. Mm. There we go. That's probably about good. Yeah, you know what? It's uh, it's probably because we've just got all our running done, and not to say that I'm out of energy, but I've been yakking all morning with the wife. We did breakfast, we did grocery shopping, we yacked a lot. We came up with a horrible European drink that does not uh, exist, called cheese nog. I'm not even sure what that is, but we were laughing about it quite a bit all morning. About... About cheese nog. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
kind of a strange morning. Okay. I am totally off rhythm this weekend. It's not a bad thing, it's just a... Uh, it's actually nice to change stuff up a little bit. Saw so a Kickstarter I want to get into the rest of the day and watch their videos. Have a... Uh, these guys have created an 8-bit Nintendo uh, game engine and uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into it or not, but it is really neat. It, it, it basically, it's an engine to create um, literally original N Nintendo games. Um, I've always wanted to actually work in, in video games. The problem is, is I'm not a programmer. Um, and so a lot of the engines that I've been kind of looking at are ones that require little to preferably zero coding, um, which basically means that you're limited, but you can get, you know, you can make a game. And I've uh, been wanting to take quite a few of my uh, ideas, you know, and put the stories into the game. So I'm, my, my kind of feeling is, is uh, some people, of course, are going to be locked into certain kinds of games, and that's their right. But um, I think there's enough people out there that just don't care what kind of game it is. They just want a good game experience. So whether it's old or new to them, probably doesn't matter too much as long as it's like they're just having fun. Um, and I understand some of the older games are a bit of an acquired taste. I am of that generation. I'm like, I started with an Intellivision and then uh, we never had an Atari, but I think after the Intellivision it was the Nintendo and uh, all, I mean, I am that generation and even I like, even I get it, you know, it's like the old games are really great. But if you're not used to them, like I'm totally, I'm more geared towards the new games right now because I, you know, every single year I've, of well, my life I've played games, and um, so like suddenly, uh, I'm not saying like uh, 8-bit is bad, but suddenly going back to 8-bit after you know after playing on my PS4, it's a little bit of a culture shock. It, you know, one that I remember, but you're kind of like, oh, wow, yeah, I almost forgot about all the glorious little bleep bloops and <laughs> all the wonderful uh, um, archaicness of it. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. It just means that's, that's what it is. Um, so I'm kind of like looking at that engine going like, man, is, it, is that a good idea to kind of invest into that and maybe try a project? Would I, you know, potentially get enough sales to make it kind of worth it. I mean, part of my philosophy is I should always be doing something kind of for me, so I'm enjoying it and I'm getting something out of it. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, but sure would be nice to, you know, help pay the mortgage and all that. So the reason why we created Super Secret Project X was so we can um, have fun doing the stuff we wanted to do, but you know, be able to hopefully make some retirement money off of it, which would be freaking spectacular. That's not bad. Yeah, I always like Kim Possible's uh, design. It's, uh, it's I, I like this kind of classic American way of, you know, um, uh, lots of notable contours. Like, you can totally tell what her silhouette is, and um, everything is, is very much reduced down to very simple shapes, uh, which is the kind of, I think, the strength of our styles. Um, the downside is it's a little abstract for my personal taste. I like a little bit more anatomy. Um, doesn't make it wrong. It just it, it is what it is.
Impossible is a good show. The, the first season was a little weak. When it was first out, everybody was like, you got to watch the show, you got to watch it. And I watched a bit of the first season, I was like, eh, it's okay. Didn't really get into it. I, I did, I caught some some episodes that weren't too hot. And there were a couple in the first season. Um, then when I got my new job here in Chicago, there wasn't a whole lot on. Um, I think I got, I think I had like some free cable that came with the place we were renting at the time. So I think it was Disney XD or whatever was playing like uh, like Kim Possible marathons late at night, so or in the evening. Anyway, so I ended up like finally getting into it. You know what? It was, it was, it was a really fun show. They 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 kind of got their their shtick figured out by the time the second season hit. And there, there was some good stuff in the first season, but it got much better by second season. And uh, then by the time we got really going, it was just playing out fun. Some, the, the, the movie they did and everything was fun, and the characters were fun. And Yeah, good show. It was one of the few shows where there was like not a whole lot of real ongoing plot that actually still kept my interest. I think it was simply because they, they had that nice kind of weekly adventure uh, shtick down. And uh, they worked it well, and the characters were... I, to me, that was the big one, was the characters. They just... They they even took characters that should have annoyed me and didn't, which was, uh, you know, like... Um, like her younger brothers. And any other show, the characters like that would have just irritated the heck out of me because you know they would have been the the dumb little brothers so that the 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 little boys at home could you know um, I don't know relate or something but um, no they even ended up being funny like the bit in the movie where they finally decided to end the series and they, they did it in the movie. Love this. Hopefully I can get it right. I always love this little swoop kind of shape they gave her hair. That's why she's got uh, fabulous hair. But uh, how they ended... Let's see if I get this right. Well, they kind of ended the series with the movie and they actually did some kind of character growth moments and she and uh, Ron ended up together, and it was actually believable. It's kind of cute. I liked that. It was nice. Nice and simple. Entertaining. That's not bad. Hey Jim, how's it going? There we go. That looks a little high. Lower that down a little bit. Dang it, come here. That line is misbehaving. There we go.
that brush. Okay. a little piece of me kind of wish they would go back to Kim Possible. Not like, you know, make it new and improved. Not that bull. Like the stuff they did to like uh, Ben 10 and stuff is just ooh, that, ooh, that's a whole lot of unwatchable. Um, you know, I'm talking like, you know, take it and like same universe and everything, but I almost kind of want them to make her an adult and have like, a, I don't know, a teenage son or a teenage daughter that takes her place. Um, and I don't want the all new adventures bull to go on. I'm kind of like, no, I kind of want to see like, like, uh, just sort of the story continue, but not at her as a teenager. Um, but you know, give her like, you know, the teenage boy or girl, you know, and now she's the, the hot red headed mom <laughs> instead of her mom being the hot red headed mom. <laughs> You know, nothing gitchy, just good solid adventure stuff and character stuff again. And not like deep character stuff, that would be kinda outside the character of the the series. But a little something. Okay, let me get rid of some of that now that I have it down.
come a little, a little out of it, that last line there that I put down that I just erased. My brain just went uh, Command Z to undo it. Whew. I think I need to unwind a little bit this afternoon. Been kind of a long couple of weeks. You know what, I'll just finish it off as an abstract shape. Yeah. Finish that off as an abstract shape. Almost like I know what I'm doing.
it's not bad. Yeah, I like that the, the yeah, true gem. They like how they left things to their imagination, or to our imaginations. Hmm, good point. All right. Um, Y'all have yourself a good week. I'll kind of keep this one short and simple. I've uh, I've got me time coming up here, and want to take full advantage of some me time. Anywho, uh, everyone have a good one. Yeah, back out here. Oh, look at that. There, there's the lovely couple, Kim Possible and Paul Nariff from Joe Joseph's Our Adventures. No, not shipping them. Just saying that when this happens, whoop, that's when the magic starts. All right. Everyone have yourselves a good week. Try not to have that kind of <clears throat> horrible combination of characters in your head for too long. Uh... Mr. Rogers bit here. Change my shoes. Put on my sweater. All right. Well, everyone, have yourself a good one. I will catch you next week, and uh, I'll try to make it a little longer next week, but uh, I ain't promising. So, everyone have a good one. Catch you later. <laughs>